Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Wagdon, and today I would like to talk to you guys about this poster and the significance that it has for your health overall. And so what we have here, it's a, what's, what's called a sagittal cut, so it's basically cut down and you can see the brain is sitting up here. You have the spinal cord, which is housed and protected by your actual spine, the bones of your spine, and these nerves come out and they feed into all of the different organs of your body. So you've got your heart, your lungs, your stomach, your liver, pancreas, intestines, so on and so forth. And so your brain is sending messages through these nerves to those organs. Those organs are in turn sending messages back up to the brain. And that relay loop is constantly happening. And it's constantly going on. And that's how your brain is controlling the beats of your heart. That's how your brain is controlling the breaths that you're taking, the amount of oxygen that's being absorbed. It's how your brain is controlling the digestion that's going on in your intestines on a constant basis, absorbing the nutrients, everything that amazingly is going on without us even being aware of it. Now, why is this so important to really understand and get and wrap your heads around? The reason is uh, your spine is that house, right? It protects that nerve system. If your spine is injured or has been injured in the past, or if it's not functioning because you're not taking very good care of it, it's gonna irritate and agitate the nerve roots and these nerves that are coming out here affecting the ability of that brain to communicate clearly and it will in turn affect the overall function of your body. For instance, if you have a problem right around the upper back area here, it's going to put pressure on the nerve root that feeds into the heart. That could lead to the heart beating too fast, too slow. It could, an, an irregular heart rhythm, it could lead to a lot of different issues. How about down here, these nerves that feed into the stomach? That, if, the, if you eat something, the brain will send a message to the stomach saying, hey, we ate something, let's create some acid. So that message gets to the stomach, the stomach starts creating acid, right? And all of a sudden, this stomach sends a message back up to the brain, but there's a problem in the spine that's irritating these nerves, and that message doesn't fully get back up to the brain, so the stomach, doesn't get told by the brain to stop producing acid. So it keeps producing acid and all of a sudden, somebody has acid reflux, right? They've got heartburn going on because of that subluxation. Are you guys grasping this? So the adjustments, while they help greatly to reduce pain, reduce inflammation, increase function in the spine, and keep it from degenerating, which are all fantastic, wonderful things that you should be coming in regular, regularly for, the true magic of chiropractic actually occurs when we create a better neural pathway, better communication from the brain to the organs of your body, which will increase the overall function of your body. So when you're getting adjusted, it's not just to decrease pain, it's actually to increase function, communication, and healing of all of your cells, tissues, organs, everything that's going on inside of your body. So I hope this helps shed some light on the importance of getting that adjustment, coming in and making sure that you take good care of your spine. My dad had a sign up in his office just yesterday when I was there and he drew, it was a picture of a face and they drew a spine going down the middle of somebody's face and they said, if your spine was on your face, would you take better care of it? And I think the obvious answer to that is, absolutely we would, right? We take great care of our teeth because we see them every day. It's a part of who we are, but that spine back here oftentimes will be neglected. So make it a conscious effort to take good care of that spine and come in, get your, che get your checkups, get your adjustments. And until next time, you guys, remember, you've got to eat well, you've got to move well, you got to think well, and your nerve system has got to be functioning and healing well. Come in and get those adjustments. Until next time, guys, have an awesome day.